Yeah, or get to know. Yeah, get to know, get to know Sean and I. Get to know Sean and I, your local realtors. Yeah, I like that. It's more personable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to know. Should it be capitalized? No, it could be it could be lower like that. Either one. That looks good. That looks good. Get to know Sean and I, your local realtors. Awesome. Perfect. Short and sweet. Perfect. Now that's going to look really good below the video as we run the ad. And now it's coming from the forest team. Should I just say Sean and Anastasia instead of Sean and I? No, Sean and I sounds better. If anything, you could put the forest team in the text. So here's a short video about who we are yeah. and how we get and how we got into real estate and eventually and, and ended up building the forest team or something like that. Like um here's a short Should I put like Anastasia though instead of I or because how will they know it's coming from me? Because it's gonna say it's not going to look like, I mean, should I put my name or just I? I put, I would put I, I would put I. Um, They'll figure I'm the leader. Yeah. Yeah. You're the leader. I'm the one that's all over the place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. And um, if you want to put the force team somewhere in the text. Mm, okay. Would be, would be better. Um, okay. Or, okay. But I don't need my name, Anastasia, anywhere. You don't think no, I need it? No, I, I would, I would leave it I. It just okay. sounds more personal. It sounds, okay. yeah. And then, yeah. And then you're on the left-hand side. So it just looks like you're already leading, you know? So, I get, oh, I gotcha. Yeah. We could say I mean? how we became the forest team at EXP Reality. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Here, here's a short video about who we are and how we became the forest team at EXP Realty. I love it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, We'll always do that first, right? Always do that first. Always double check it, triple check it. Because again, once we come in and set the ad, we can't change that anymore. So okay. we'll do all the editing here and then um, and then go in and run the actual ad. Okay. Funny enough, I'm like, I kind of like that other picture better, but I don't actually know where that picture is. It's already so... it's actually already chosen. So you should be fine. If you hit save, it, it, okay. it's good to go. Okay, cool. All right. So you think that's fine? Okay. And that one's super cute as well. The one to the left with you, with you cracking up and then Sean's looking at you like you're crazy or something. Oh, oh this that's one? A cool, that one's a cool, that's just personality. <laughs> it's totally up to you. It's all preference, but that one's a total, total, it just, it, that would make me stop in my, stop my scroll. It's all about getting people to stop their scroll. Like whether it's an image or whether it's a thumbnail, yeah. you know, that looks, that looks more cool. Like Okay. The other one is just is just super smiley and you're good, but the other one yeah. that one shows your personality. It's not too goofy. No, I, can't I think the goofy is good. Okay. Yeah. So save that one. Save that one. Let's rock with that one. Okay. I'm gonna so trust you on this one. Yes. Okay. All right. So, so save. Let's do save, and then now we're good. So we're good with the title, the text, the thumbnail. Now we're ready to run the ad. So, um, here's what you also want to do since this is an intro video pin it do you have anything else pinned uh no yeah pin that one pin that one let that one sit at the top of the page for a while so we'll pin pin to top of page and it'll just be it'll be the first so if you refresh it it'll just be the first one that people see as they come here so all your future posts whether it's an image or a video it'll just start to land below below this one okay yes yes awesome so um yeah, so let's run the ad. So let's go to the ads right. manager. And then again, this first one's going to be video views. So okay. all we're going to do is simply click on the green button. And and as you navigate through Facebook, you always want to make sure that you're in the right account. So the force team, that's the right account right there at the top. Um, so in this case, we're going to go video views. And so as I mentioned before, Video views is our first one. And then from second, from the second add and on it's conversions. Okay. It's conversions. Okay. So here, as you click the, the, as you shade in that video view slot, the bottom part opens up, name your campaign. So if you hit that drop down, all this is, is just giving each step of the way a title. And, and these are the three tabs that you see in the background, campaign, ad set, and ad. The campaign is just simply video views. So in the, in the name, Mm-hmm. Go ahead and put intro video, video views. And, and I'll always put video views, which is the objective. I'll put that in parentheses. So intro video and then video views. Perfect. And that would be, and then, and then for the future, it'll be whatever you want to name that video. And then in parentheses, it'll be conversions. 
Okay. Okay. So you always put that objective in, in, in the parentheses. So that's the campaign name. And then the ad set, the ad set is when we go to the next, we hit continue and then we end up going to the next step, which is ad set. That's where we're going to choose our city. That's where we're going to choose our, the calendar and when the ad's going to go live, when it's going to end. Um, that's where we'll choose the actual um, budget. <laughs> but what I normally do in the ad set title is I'll name, I'll simply just name the city that we're targeting. Okay. So we'll just simply target that yeah, we'll name it that that targeting city and, and leave it as is. And then the video, same as the, the campaign name, intro video, same thing, intro video. Um, and you don't have to put video views. It's just intro video on the in the in the in the third and final tab. Perfect. We're good. Like, um, county is a little bigger than San Augustine. It's around. It's, do you want me to put do I put the city or the county? Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to target. Really serve all of St. John's County. Perfect. St. Okay. John's County. Awesome. Okay. So hit continue. Okay, cool. So now we're still on the first step, which is the campaign. So we're still on tab number one campaigns. Um, what we're going to do here is you'll always shade that off to on special ad category is for housing. So you'll always hit that drop down and always go with housing. You can have the best ad, you can have, have the best image, best video, best targeting, everything. But if you don't shade that to housing, then it, the, the ad will get rejected. Right. Okay. So that's fine. And then down, as you go down lower, you'll see campaign budget optimization. This doesn't really pertain to you because you're only targeting, you're targeting one city. And, 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 and so just leave that off. Hit next. Okay. Hey, do they have real people that review these or is it robots? Yes. No, it's actually, it's, they're actually real people. Yeah. They're, they're, a lot of this is, is a robot is a lot of it is automated, but what's not is the actual ad the actual video there's actually real people who who actually approve that video interesting okay yeah yeah so um yeah so we're good here so now we already have the title of the of the actual um um name st john's county and then now all we're going to do is go down to daily budget and what i like to do is go lifetime so hit the drop down daily budget and just go to lifetime and it's the same dollar amount so whatever you want to budget for it whether you're, you're going to run it for a week, whether you're going to run it for a couple weeks, whatever, whether mm -hmm. you go lifetime or daily, it's the same amount. So mm -hmm. for example, if we were going five bucks a day or 10 bucks a day, and we planned on going for 10 days, you know, mm -hmm. that dollar amount, it's the same. I'm going to just simply do lifetime and I'll do, I'll do the calendar. Mm -hmm. so, so if I was doing 10 bucks a day for, for 10 days, there's a hundred bucks and, and that would have been daily budget, 10 bucks a day. But mm -hmm. I'll go lifetime, I'll put a hundred bucks there, and then I'll just set the calendar for 10 days. You know, ah. what I mean? it's the same dollar amount. So, no matter, so just go lifetime, go lifetime budget, and whatever you plan on spending on that ad, then, mm -hmm. then just go ahead and put it there. What do you uh, recommend? I mean, to tell you the truth, I mean, if you have somewhat, somewhat of a what the way I always really, and this is the intro video, every, every ad mm -hmm. from this point on, so ad number two and on. You really only need to be at a few hundred a, week, a month. So, for example, ten bucks a day. From mm -hmm. ad number two and on, you want to be at ten bucks a day, minimum, which is three hundred a month. Like mm -hmm. minimum, that's where you want to start at minimum. The yeah. intro video, I kind of, I, I, it's not a bad idea to have it to have it going throughout the entire month. Now, you don't have to spend three hundred for the month on this one video, but if you if you stayed at let's just say let's say you stayed at five bucks a day. And ran it the entire month. That's only mm -hmm. 150. Like it's not that much. Like 150 for the entire month, and to have this this video running at all times, that's one strategy. To have yeah. it running at all times, because what we're doing from ad number two and on is we're we're gonna always retarget those who are watching this video. Okay. So so I could be on ad number five, and I'm gonna continue to retarget those who are watching this video. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So I don't. So I don't really want to only run it for a week. Like I'd rather run it at all times and not spend a lot. So if we have to drop, drop the budget, if we have to go to four bucks a day, but we're running it for the entire month, well, I think that's powerful. Big. Yeah. You know, you so, so that way people, that way we can constantly always be getting people to see us like, you know, mm -hmm. in our local area. And then, and then, and then they're, they're also getting hit with ad number five, six, seven, eight, nine as well. And, and this is a, li a living, a living, breathing, just organism because this intro video is always getting new people to see it. Right. Rather, if we just ran it for two weeks and then shut it off. 
Right, right. You know what I mean? Cool. So, so you don't need to spend a ton on it, but mm-hmm. I would highly recommend to have it always running at a low budget. Yeah. You know? Um, and then, and then ad number two, you can start at any time. Ad number two, actually you'll start at minimum seven days from now, like minimum seven days, at least get, at least let this run for seven days. And then, and then we retarget those who are watching it with ad number two. Okay. Um, but, but at the same time, ad number one, the intro is going to, sh- is going to continue to run. And then in seven days, we run ad number two, seven okay. days from there, we run ad number three, seven days from there, we run ad number four. But in okay. the meantime, this one is still running. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, totally up to you. So f- daily budget, if you went daily budget five bucks, I would just go lifetime budget mm-hmm. 150. And then oh. I'd set the calendar for 30 days. Okay. You know, or, or, or you can mm-hmm. leave it at five bucks daily and don't even set a calendar. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, so that that why don't you do that why don't you do that and then that that just gives you the ability to just shut it off whenever you want to shut it off i'm saying run it for at least 30 days let it always run let it run but in 30 days okay you spent 150 on it just come in here and shut it off i can set an end date though see you can you can um yeah you can i mean go ahead and you you can go ahead and do that you can go ahead and do that if you want um but in that case, what I would rather you ha- have you do is just go lifetime, just go lifetime budget. If you're going to, if you're going to set an end date, just go lifetime okay. and, and just, and just let Facebook spend that 150 daily what? as, as they want. Like as some they days will. they'll spend seven bucks. Some days they'll spend nine bucks. Some days they'll spend four bucks depending on the traffic, you know? Okay. Um, so lifetime, there's the calendar. So here's what, here's another, another tip as well. Okay. Always set the ad to go live the next day. Oh, so so okay. right now it's the fourth. Let's set it to go live on the fifth okay. at 6 a.m. Okay. So you'll always want to do it for every ad. Um, give Facebook plenty of time to review it. Okay. And, then, and, then, and then you'll get an email later on tonight. And that email will be from Facebook. And it'll say your ad is scheduled or running. Your ad okay. is scheduled or running. That's an email you receive right away once the ad approves. Okay. So we'll give them the rest of the night, the rest of the evening to, to approve the ad, and then it can go live tomorrow tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. So March 5th, change the end date to March 5th as well. And then um, and then what we'll do is we'll leave it, yeah, change the, the date and the time, reflect the same 6 a.m. and let it run for an even 30 days. Perfect. And then you can always, you can always, let's say deals are, you know, let's say you guys are doing well and, 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 you know, you're closing, closing escrows and you got a little bit of, of money, come back in here at the end of the month and extend it, go to, go to April 5th, you know, let that ad run, let it run, let it run. Okay. I would let it run. So are you going to get sick of it? No, 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 because people, <laughs> very good question. No, because not the same people are going to always see it. Like, mm-hmm. like you have a potential reach. Like we're gonna we're gonna narrow it down to the county. What so go down right now? The potential reach is 230 million, which that is not your audience. Once you go down and put in the county, so let's scroll down. We don't need custom audiences on this one. We don't need age. We don't need gender. We don't need detail targeting. What we do need though, go back up. We do need to change the 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 actual um, the um, where it's yeah the United States right the locations. Take out United States and put in St. John's County, and that's going to give us the actual potential reach. So if you look at that number, five bucks a day is not going to reach nowhere near that amount of people. So this ad, if we have it continue to run, so look, 170,000 people. So that is based on, and, and look, so daily, daily. I don't know. Maybe I should put it back on St. Augustine. This is more, that's kind of far away from us. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? St. John's County, click on it. Click on, actually, okay. people living in, go to, hit the drop down above. People living in, go oh, go sure. to that one. Um, here, there we go. Yeah, hit okay. that, people living in this location. Okay. So hit that one. Okay, maybe. so now that's, that, now that's 150. And then, and then hit the St. John's County, the green. Yeah, hit that one. Yeah, click, no, up. Oh, the green, down. the green. The, right where you oh. typed in St. John's County. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah, hit the drop down right there to the right. Oh, I see. I see. Hmm. Okay, so it's not giving you, let's X out of it real quick. X out of, uh, hit the X yeah. to the right and then type yeah. it in again. Search search locations. Yeah, below it. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, search locations. Type in right there. And then um, normally, normally it would give you a mileage. Yeah, like uh, a radius. Like a radius. And it's not given okay. to you there. But um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Weird. So, so if anything, you can just always drop a pin. So if you, if you delete that, you yeah. can drop, you can drop pin mm -hmm. and then, and then just kind of be where you want to be. Okay. Where's the, so pin? click on drop pin and then I just would lead us to be in St. Augustine. And then it'll, it'll, it'll go toward things that are around here. Right. Yeah. See, so there goes your radius. Here's the radius. So 15 is the minimum. So that's pretty good. Okay. So the potential reach in that area is 320, right? 320,000. But your estimated daily reach is 245 to 708 based on that $5 budget, based on that lifetime 150. So the same people are not going to be seen at all. This, that's why it's a living, breathing organism, because new people are going to constantly see it as we run it every day, uh, only 245 out of, two, out of 320,000 people. So it's going to take me forever to reach that many people, okay. especially based on that budget. Even if we were spending 50 bucks a day, we wouldn't even reach 320. You know, so, so, so what I'm really trying to say is that new people are going to be seeing it every day, Okay. which is a good this, thing. Is this a pretty good radius? You think? Yeah, for sure. If you're trying to be in that area. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. 20 miles. And then, and then you, and then again, what we're really doing is we're, we're casting a wide net right now. We're mm -hmm. casting a wide net and, and we're narrowing it in based on the people who actually watch our stuff. Okay. So at the end of it, it's not like we're going to continue to target that area. We're going to only target that area in the beginning. We're okay. going to a cold market. We're introducing ourselves. Once we capture the audience who start watching our videos, that's who we continue to target. Okay. You know? Um, and that's who we continue to retarget. So keeping it wide up front is, is, is good. Is good. So we're good there. So let's scroll down and you'll always go with people living in this location, right? Yeah. So let's scroll down now and we should be good. We don't need to change anything else. Um, age, we cannot change if anything language, maybe go English all mm -hmm. like you, you at least want to narrow it into the, to the language for sure. Um, yeah. go English and then oh. just hit the all. Yeah, perfect. And then scroll down. And then and, and because you're targeting a local area, right? You don't want to put any keywords in. There's no need to put in keywords, the interests. There's no need because rather than narrowing it in by keyword, we're leveraging our video. We're using our video to find that person. And once that person watches the video, we're narrowing it in by creating an audience, by creating a custom audience. So cool. we're going to create our own audiences rather than rather than needing keywords to 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 create that for us. Cool. Um so automatic placement, we'll leave it there and then just scroll down, scroll down, and then we'll hit next. So that's the second tab. That's what we named St. John's County, which we may need to change the name and that's totally fine. You can always change the name later, but, um, but that's the section we were in. Now we're in the third section and the final section where all we're going to do is make sure that we're running it from the, from the correct Facebook page, which we are. And then if you have an Instagram account connected, you can hit that drop down and then choose your Instagram account. Yeah. So go ahead and, and even though the video won't run on Instagram because the video is longer than one minute and yeah. because the video is not even, um, is not even um, um, optimized for Instagram, meaning it's not the, the, the right dimension. Uh, Instagram video is, is one minute and, and, and less and then also vertical. So okay. this one is specifically for Facebook and that's fine, but we'll just kind of follow the, the, the protocol and just go Instagram account, but it's not that it's not like it's going to run on Instagram. Um, so now we're going to go down and right where it says ad setup, we're going to create ad. We're going to click on create ad and we're going to go use existing post. And then we're going to hit select post um, right there to the left, click on that one to the left, select post. And then all we're going to do is find that post. Right there. Thing. Yes, that's the one. And then hit continue. See, yeah. so now as we get to this point, we can no longer change the text. Yeah. So we look at that text and we're like, damn, we missed a comma, right? You wouldn't have been able to change it right here. Yeah. And then now as you go back to your page, you're not going to be able to change it on your page because now you're in the, you're in the process of running an ad. So if you go back to your business page, you won't be able to edit. 
Okay. Okay. That's why it's so important to do it before, before all this. So now the call to action button from ad number two and on that call to action will be learned more because now, okay. now we're getting people to click on it to go to a destination. But in this case, it's simply for video views. It's not a lead capture ad. It's not a, it's not a message ad. It's nothing like that. It's strictly for video views. So all we're going to do is we'll just add a button just to add it, just to fill up the real estate and fill up the space. So go ahead and click on the call to action, click on add button right there to the left. And we'll just simply put a button, click learn more. We're going to add a send message button just to, just to add it. But it's not a send message ad, so we're not going to expect any messages at all. So go to an update post. And so now as you update it, scroll down, there's the title. So get to know Sean and I, your local realtor. You see how that was pretty much to the right, scroll to the right, oh. scroll down on the right, right there. That, yeah. that's, that, that's, that, there's your blueprint. So knowing how long the title should be, it shouldn't be no longer than that. Because if you added another word, it wouldn't have shown. Right. Right. So if you would have, if you would have spout out Anastasia, it wouldn't have shown. Now, yeah. Anastasia, Anastasia would have right. shown, but maybe your local realtor would have not shown. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we want to try to pack in everything right there. Um, and then when it comes to ad number two and on, what we put right there is our call to action. So mm -hmm. what I would have put right there is download your free seller guide or click learn more to download seller guide or 2021 seller guide. Right. Okay. So I would put some type of call to action, something short and sweet um, right there in that title. And okay. then and then look at the thumbnail, the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. So look how it look. It, I mean, that looks super cool. I love that thumbnail. But, <laughs> I but hope Sean's you, not going to be mad. He'll be like, my double chin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see a double chin at all. At all at all. <laughs> no, I don't see that at all. That's super cool. I love that one. I love that one. That one's awesome. Believe me, I'm the consumer looking at it. So you are my, okay. take my advice, not not what you guys think. You I'll guys tell are, him David said so. Yes, it's from the con, from a consumer's perspective, I love that one. So so that's that's good. So now now we're good. That's it. So everything okay. is good. Now now if this was ad number two, if this was ad number two, we yeah. would have clicked on the call to action button. We would okay. have clicked on learn more, and uh -huh. we would have needed to add our link to our website. So when they click on learn more, Facebook wants to know where are we taking them, right? Yeah. So that link would have been here in the call to action. Rather than send message, we would have clicked learn more and Facebook would need the link that we're taking yeah. people to. So right. that's our next call. Okay. And, and, and so what you're going to need to do is, is, is think of a domain. Okay. And here's what you're going to want to do. Let's publish this real quick. I publish. Yeah, let's publish this real quick, and then and then I'm gonna bring you. It's we're gonna X out of this, and we're gonna go back to the dashboard. Okay. Hey D, give me one minute. I'll be right there. Okay. This is in fact, Dorica. This is Anastasia. They're out there in Florida. They're also with EXP. Anastasia, this is my friend Dorica. She's with hey, EXP as well. Oh, cool. <laughs> hey, look, EXP family. Oh yes. Are you in Florida too, or somewhere else? Uh you know, then I'm reminded of where I am talking to you from <laughs> because the weather is not as great. I'm in Oklahoma City. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, well, but my my sponsor just moved out there to Florida. Micah Murawat. No, I don't, her Moody. no, I don't know her. You don't? Okay. Not yet, but man, it's a small world. Uh, maybe I'll run into her. It, yeah, hopefully you should. Yeah, she's a beast. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Well, nice to meet you. Nice so to meet I'm, you also. <laughs> I'm just walking her through a, a, a an intro video and, and we're just we're just about done. So we're we're just wrapping up this intro video and running it as a Facebook video view ad. So I'll be there right away, Dorica. Give me a minute. No so, worries. And you can time. you can you can watch what we're about to do. Actually, we already finished everything, but um, but yeah, hold tight. So we yeah, published everything. Mind, I don't mind watching. I, yeah. I won't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're almost done. So now Anastasia just hit that X to the top left. Let's just X this part out. And here, and here's one more thing that we're going to do. So now we come back to the dashboard. Now we're going to uncheck the blue one selected and start from the right-hand side. So, so right here on the right-hand side, these are our three tabs. So this right here, it's the, the third tab. This is the only one that's going to be in review for the next few hours. So Facebook okay. is simply reviewing the video. 
So if you check that, go ahead and click that X once selected. Now let's go to the middle tab. Don't, don't uncheck it yet. Click on the tab, add sets. Yeah, click right there. So now this is scheduled. So Facebook already approved the city, the targeting, the budget, the, the, um, the calendar. They've approved. Mm -hmm. They approved all that already. So that's approved. Okay. It's scheduled. It's approved. And then click on the one selected exit out. Mm -hmm. And then now click on the first tab, which is campaigns. This is also scheduled. So they already, they already approved the fact that you selected special ad category, one with housing, video views. They already approved that. That's quick. So okay. all that's going to be in review for the next few hours is the video. And, and, and they, they really, really look at that video to make sure there's nothing in it. No cuss words. No, I had, I had a client where she was doing a walkthrough of an open house. We were running the, an ad on an up and coming open house. Mm -hmm. And she was, it was a video. She was doing a simple walkthrough selfie style. And as mm -hmm. she's doing a walkthrough, there happened to be a bar in the kitchen, right? Just a simple little wet bar, right? Some bottles, Jack Daniels, some bottles in the background and because of that it, it the ad was rejected oh wow so, so they really look at these ads to make sure there's no alcohol make sure there's nothing in the background make sure there's no cuss words so that's mm -hmm. the only thing that stays in review for a few hours and then and then once it goes scheduled that's when it approves or once it approves it the third tab will say scheduled and then again mm -hmm. you'll get that email so x out of this real quick x out of one selected here's the last thing we're going to do really really quick Okay. We're going to create, we're going to set up the audience now of those who watch this first video. So okay. let's click the dots to the left and then let's go to audiences. Oh, sorry. No, no, no worries. Audience? Those dots uh, to the left, right below the little house. Yeah. Click on those oh. dots right there and then click on audiences. So this will be, this will be, I think this will be our first audience. Let's see. Actually, no, you got a few of them already, already over here. So you know how to create an audience. You know how to create a custom audience. I guess we did. Okay. Yeah. Well then, well then let's, let's create one for this one real quick. So click the blue, the blue create audience. Mm -hmm. And then let's just go custom audience mm -hmm. and then video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So click on that and, and 25% is, is a good one. Let's go with 25% and then click on choose videos and then just simply choose that video. So just check the box to the left and then you'll see continue at, or confirm, yeah, at the bottom. Okay, perfect. And then let's just give it a name, which will be intro video. Intro video, and then and then put 25% in parentheses. Perfect. So this right here is, a, is an audience that you'll want to retarget from ad number two and on. Okay. okay so create audience. And, 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 and where, you, where you target that audience, or, or I should say where you include that audience is in the ad set. So as we go and set up the next ad, we click the green button, we go conversions, we go to the second tab, which is ad sets. That's where we choose our calendar, our, 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 our city, our, um, our budget. In that second tab, second step, the ad set, that's where we also tell Facebook about this audience. Okay. Oops. So not only are we going to target um, that city, St. Augustine, for example, but we're also going to retarget the twenty five percent views. Okay. Okay. So we do that in the in the second step, which is the ad set. So okay. here's what I need you to do. I just need you to think of that next domain. Think of that domain um, that you want to register, and here's how you're going to do it. Do you guys have any custom domains anyway? Do you have a GoDaddy I, account? I do. I have okay. a couple of systems. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. yeah. So then just go through your GoDaddy account. Go through your GoDaddy account and just register a new domain. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then let's, and then let's schedule our next call. Cause that next call we're going to need, we're going to need landing pages. So we're going to need to know what landing page we're going to integrate that domain with. And okay. then, and then we're going to come back in here to Facebook, grab the pixel and then put it mm -hmm. on that actual page. Okay. I'm probably going to try out card trap because I want the online calendar. That's, that's what we need. We need oh. the email address. And that's where Dorica is at. Dorica, we're setting up the card chart today because we need that calendar we need that email autoresponder and we need the landing page and so we need we'll to take that pixel put it on the pages and then tell facebook what domain we're going to use what custom domain we're going to use to make it all happen so yeah. that's our next call so think of the domain and then schedule our next call and then and then we'll go from there i need to write a seller's guide right yes yes everything is around the seller guide or everything is around your niche okay so everything. so think of something short and sweet.com Oh, okay. Yep. All right.
Cool. And then, and then, and then don't set up the Kartra until our next call. So on our next call, that's when we'll, we'll set up the Kartra account. Okay. Does okay. the seller side have to be in the domain name? Does it have to say seller's guide? Oh, not necessarily. Not at all. It could be whatever. I mean, not necessarily. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. It, it, yeah. Think of something like, but, but it doesn't have to be, it can be for sure, but it does, it doesn't have to be. Like St. Augustine living.com or something. Yes. Like that. Yes. Yes. But actually that's more, that's more general and that's more like living. If you're yeah. targeting an older generation or older demographics and, and it's all about selling. Yeah. Then maybe something regarding that. Okay. I don't know. You just, you, you'd have to just get, it's all preference. You'd have to just get creative and, and, and yeah. I would think something that has to do with selling or some type of seller guide in it would be good. All right. Sounds perfect. All right. Thanks, David. Yes. You're so, so welcome. So schedule next call and we'll talk then. All right. Have a good class. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.